Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Gemini, we are looking into this week of August 23rd to the 29th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning Gemini, welcome back and thank you so very much for being here. We are going to be getting you a number for this week to see what number is being highlighted for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. So Gemini, your number for this week is card number 77. I am brave. It is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is a time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is a time to be bold and brave. All right, Gemini, I'm pretty sure... I feel like y'all have seen this energy of sevens before. I don't know if it was last week or the week before, or maybe you just got this card last week too, but I kind of feel like y'all got sevens recently. Nonetheless, they're coming through again. Some of you definitely born on the seventh or seven means something to you. But let's see what we got going on here for Gemini. Stepping into your bravery, moving past old patterns and fears, old belief systems, old ways of being. So let's see here. Gemini. Oh, this is your card. Wow, it is your card. Eclipse in Gemini negotiation, card 27. Rise to challenges as a new path opens. All right, yeah, so sevens are being prominent again, 27. I mean, there is a two in front of it, but still, you would get that. Um, Gemini, you, and you know what's so crazy? Is I actually did this little thing for y'all that I made this post that I'm going to start doing for the, um, for the collective themes of what I've just been feeling from readings. And Gemini, you got power through struggle, which is interesting because you have rise to challenges as a new path opens. It's time to move on from old patterns. So you're really rising in the face of crisis. Like you are, it's, it's almost like some of you are even not phased by it. Some of you, you may have had to, you know, control yourself and get through it, but there is a very big challenge or conflict of yours that is finally coming to an end. And for some of you, you're finally um, coming to compromise with this person, forging a new path ahead. For others of you, you may just be forging your own path ahead, but we'll see more details when we get more cards. Let's see what angels with you here, Gemini. You also were the zodiac sign. You and Sagittarius had the eclipses this season, so pretty prominent energy. Wow. I can't make this up. The miracle of forgiveness. Thank you, Jeremy, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. All right, so somebody is sorry, obviously here. Um, so it could be you, it could be them, but I do feel like for a lot of you, Gemini, somebody is very apologetic towards you. Um, keep in mind, Gemini cross watchers, this could be totally backwards, but you're forgiving somebody, you're moving on, you're getting the closure, you're either closing the door and just moving on with yourself or you're closing the door with them together and you two are moving into a new direction. So whoever you've been having a drama with, conflict with, finally this week you two are coming into um, working together and seeing what's going to happen from here. So don't forget to stay brave, be bold, say what's on your mind, position yourself to receive what you desire from this situation and you will be coming out on top here Gemini so let's see underneath your 77 we have Aquarius energy rebel unique and nonchalant underneath your eclipse in Gemini we have Jupiter expansion travel luck beliefs and seeking Jupiter ruled by Sagittarius. Underneath Archangel Jeremiel, we have Uranus. 
originality, diversity, technology, experimental, and freedom. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be, um, you're coming into compromise with somebody in a very different way than what you're used to. I feel like you and this person are just finding a way to get on the same page in a very unique way. So I don't know what that means for a lot of you, but for some of you, this is a very, whoever you have this conflict with, some of you, it could just be a conflict with a position you have about something. But I feel like for a lot of you, there is a sense of you and whoever this person is or whoever this thing is or whatever you're having trouble with here for you two to really come together there is an energy of you two trying to think outside of the box of how can we do things differently this time you know it's not only how can we have a fresh start but it's also coming with an energy but how can we now do things differently than we were doing before because obviously what we were doing before was causing conflict was causing drama whatever maybe it was the way you two expressed yourself the way you communicated the way you showed effort um whatever the case may be there is an energy of you two trying to do things differently this time around so let's see here spirit for gemini let's get some tarot on this and get more details for gemini sun moon rising venus signs for this week for gemini Okay, so on this Aquarius energy, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, going back and forth with this person or with this thing or situation. What do I do? How do I navigate this? How do we come to an equal energy? Jupiter here with the King of Pentacles. Some of you, your finances are increasing as well. And with Uranus, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah. So, I feel like for a lot of you Geminis here, I feel like whoever this person is, or whatever situation this is, you feel like any way that you have tried to make things better or make things move into your favor, you were in a position of like, I'm just going to stay stable within myself, and I'm just going to see what happens around me. And I feel like for a lot of you Geminis, because of, like I said, you have a brave face in the state of crisis. And I feel like for a lot of you Geminis, because of your stability, whoever you have had this conflict with or whatever the case may be, it may be causing them a bit of, a bit of disappointment because they couldn't knock you off your, your, just your, your stable position for yourself. So I, I, it's not that this person wants to take you down, Gemini, but this person is going to, they want to try to phase you in, in a way where you want to heal with them. Like, I don't know if you don't care to heal with this person or you're just not necessarily fully focused on it or whatever the case may be, but keep in mind, Gemini, this could be backwards. Let's clarify this. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Yeah, you're very focused on something that you feel stable in. So you may be focused on work. You may be focused on a commitment. You may be focused on family. Five of Cups here. Hello. With the Nine of Wands. Yeah. All right. So for a lot of you, Geminis, this person with the Ace of Cups, they want a renewed sense of healing, emotion, love for this connection, relationship. Could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be anybody here. For some of you, it's love with this Ace of Cups coming in, but I feel like you're just so confused about this. For some of you, you are already focused on something because that's what I feel. It's almost like somebody is trying to get you to get your attention, but wherever your attention is or whatever your attention is on is like causing this person to feel like 
upset or ignored or like hopeless that you'll negotiate with them or hopeless that you'll like forge a new path with them because I feel like for a lot of you Gemini's you're going back and forth you're kind of like all right do I want to open this new path for the both of us or close the path and just open up for me have the healing have the forgiveness and just move on because I see you very focused on something I see you very focused on your stability with something and whoever this person is they are trying to get you to be there for, I don't know what the heck this is man what is going on here Gemini's some of you maybe some of you may um you may be in a relationship and somebody else wants you you may be at work you may have a job okay this is what I feel Gemini cross watchers remind yourself this could be backwards for some of you you're either in a relationship and another person wants you you are at a very stable job and another job wants you you're in a very stable friend community but another friend community is interested in you there's something along those lines like and it's almost like because of the third energy's interest Like, for a lot of you, you know this third energy, and they may have caused drama for you, and that's why you're not interested in being part of that. I don't know what the heck this is. Eight of Cups, yeah, you don't really seem interested in whatever's trying to knock you off of what you're stable in. Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, yeah, you're not moving from here. So whoever's trying to... They really want to get into your energy, Gemini, but I feel like they will give up eventually. Um... Nine of Wands with the Six of Wands. Yeah, this person really wants your attention. I don't know who this is or what this is, but Gemini, somebody really wants your attention and they're trying to distract you from where you're stable on. I don't know why, where, who, but that's what I got for you. So either this is a new job that's like, Gemini, this job is better than where you're at. Come over here, come over here. And you're kind of like, no, I like where I'm at. Some of you, you have a, a love interest who is very bothersome to you or whatever the case may be some of you you're deciding to say you know what no I like where I'm at I like where I'm stable at this person really wants your attention though and for others of you um possibly a past friend or a new friend wants you to be part of their group or back to being their friend and you're kind of just like no I can count on the people I'm with now like you like where you're at and somebody's trying to distract you I don't know why who where but they want in, they want your attention, and for some of you, they want your forgiveness if they have messed things up with you in the past. So, Gemini, um, the only major here is we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, really could be dealing with any sign. We are now going to be getting your specific love energies. For some of you, this is about love. For others of you, um, like I said, it could be dealing with anything. So, Gemini, we have soulmate, we have regret, and we have release. Okay, so for some of you Geminis, in terms of love, you may be dealing with somebody who is very regretful for what they put you through, um, actions they took towards you, possibly mistakes. Obviously, somebody wants into your energy after messing up or feeling like they have messed up. So definitely could be love here. Soulmate with destruction. There's the mess up. Regret with fifth dimension. And release with divine feminine. Like I said, Geminis, there's somebody, some of, some of you, somebody that you have a soul tie to is trying to mess up where you feel stable at. I'm telling you for some of you. Spirit, please clarify this once more for Gemini. Someone wants your attention. Deception. Fifth dimension. Action. Divine feminine. Crossroads. Yeah, I don't know who this person is, but they're not your person. All right, let's clarify this one more time. We have deception with refocus. Yeah, you're not focused on this person. You're like, no, no, no. Action with mute, going mute on them, crossroads with settling. You are in a position of saying to yourself, I'd rather release this instead of deal with it. So 
I don't know if there's a past person just jealous of that you're in a relationship or a new person that just is so mad that you're already taken. I don't know what this is, Gemini, but you don't want them. So that's what I got. So Gemini cross watchers, there's no need to fear. Your Gemini is not straying away. But that's what I got here for you for this week. Um, Gemini, please do not forget to like the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.